Welcome to the TLC Gallery. My name is Tony Livingston, and I'm very fortunate this evening and for the next two months, we are showing exclusive of Tracy Davis Petite Mosaic Designs. This is one of her necklaces that we are featuring in our collection. Very grateful in that we have the exclusive on her pieces, which is phenomenal for McAllen in South Texas. We are having the good fortune of traveling to Europe to the Vatican to showcase her designs, but more importantly, the kickoff party is here, McAllen. I was not an artist at all when I was younger. I was a social worker, and I had a stroke in my late 20s when I had my second of three sons, and I had paralysis on the right side of my body, which is my dominant side. And while I was in rehab, I had an idea of making these religious micro mosaic pieces. And I made them on a larger scale at first, and I really did not have the fine motor skills to do a very good job. But I taught myself, and I got better and better. And finally, I got the idea of putting them in antique watch cases. The watch cases themselves date from about 1880 to 1940. And the work on the inside is an enamel work with a micro mosaic of tiny seashells, hand dyed seeds, gold filigree and Swarovski crystal, vintage paper, sea moss, and the portraits on the inside are early 1900s holy cards from France, Italy, Germany, and Belgium. This is a St. Francis of Assisi piece, and if you notice up in the top, it's very tiny, but this is part of the prayer of St. Francis, and it's built into the top of the watch, and it actually says, Give me the grace to see all animals as gifts from God. And if you notice in the bottom, there are two dogs in the bottom and there are cats around a dish and they're all being fed and taken care of. And since St. Francis is the patron of animals, I chose to make a piece that showed animals being well taken care of. This is a new piece that I've just finished. This is St. Anne, and St. Anne, of course, is the grandmother of Jesus Christ, the mother of Mary. And on the back is a lovely Russian prayer medal from the 1920s of the Madonna and Christ. And this piece actually shows St. Anne and Mary beside each other, and it has a very elaborate crystal illuminata around the head to show the halos. The case itself is from the mid-1800s, sterling. And then the interesting part of the necklace on this one, this is white turquoise. White turquoise um, is very hard to find. It's called white buffalo. And it's actually strung so that you have antique prayer medals of saints that go the full length of the necklace, and it lays the full length of your neck all the way around. The shells underneath are called rice shells, and they're usually brown, they have to be bleached white, and they're the, about the size of a grain of rice. And I hand dye mine so that they're really nice pastel colors. And then there's also a fitting of sesame seeds that go around them, almost in a garland effect. And then the colors that you see that are the mixture, these are also all seeds that have been put in an alternating pattern. Then gold filigree goes on top of that, Swarovski crystal goes on top of that. So it's a multi-layer process. And then it ends with the glass being put on, and then I decide what embellishments I want around the sides. This is an Art Deco case, it's from the 1920s. And you have to get very, very close to see, but there's almost an optical illusion going on in the case. It looks as if it's all just a blur of pastel color, but it's all individual tiny seashells that I actually pick up myself on Pensacola Beach where I live. And the green that you see is sea moss that I pick up on the beach. And I actually sit and sort them out and I build them into the mosaic. And they're actually about five layers of shells that are put in there and then I put the crystals on top and go from there. You also see the little angels and cherubs peeking out of the top that are looking down on the sacred heart of Jesus. 
down into the bottom, it says the Good Shepherd. A lot of these have prayers in them. They have religious sayings in them. Some are in Latin. They're in different languages. Some of them come from the actual holy card that the piece is, 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 is cut from. And my pieces are sold exclusively through Tony Livingston Collection here in McAllen, Texas. Thank mm -hmm. you.